position that you uh, gave in the evidence in the ICAC hearing on Monday that you do not know or have not met Crown Group uh, Chairman Ivan Sunita? Please use your words carefully, OK? Please use your words carefully. Uh, I say this. As Premier, I am in photos and meetings and whatever else um, with many people I do not know, with many people because of that is my role. Uh, my role is to conduct the affairs of state. Uh, my role is to uh, be in, in positions where you are in photos and things with people you don't know and you don't put things together. That's, that's the nature of it. Uh, but please be careful with, with the, the, the dots you're trying to draw, which simply do not exist. Simply do not exist. OK? And I, I, I'm, again, I'm happy, to, I'm happy to answer all questions in relation to the public interest, but my tolerance for answering questions which, frankly, are offensive is waning. Because my, I've already provided information to the ICAC on those matters, and I refer you to that. Premier, in respect to something I'll tell the Parliament today, you said that uh, you would have reported something if at any stage I knew that anything was going to happen that was wrong. Given that your previous evidence to the ICAC uh, that Mr Maguire was a big talker and that uh, for a lot, of time, a lot of the time his business deals didn't come off, is it true that uh, by those statements to Parliament yesterday you would have reported something if you believed the business deals he was talking about would have been successful? Please, if I had any suspicion that any member of parliament, whether it was him or anybody else, was doing the wrong thing, using their office for the wrong purposes, I wouldn't have blinked. Of course I would have reported that. But this gentleman, well, this person had access to so many people and the end result was nothing. He actually tried to get things done and he couldn't get things done because of everybody in high office, including myself, including my colleagues, including those noble public servants. And can I thank those public servants? because uh, that has instilled my confidence in the systems we have. Somebody who we trusted, imagine knowing someone for 15 years, someone who we trusted did the wrong thing by all of us, but he didn't get his way because all of us put our jobs first and put the people first. That's why he didn't get his way, because we put the people of New South Wales first. And I don't care who it is. If I suspect someone is doing the wrong thing, if they are not doing what they need to do in putting their communities first. No tolerance for that, and I can't stress that strongly enough. Premier, if the council will pass a motion of no confidence in you, does that bother you? How does that sit with you? Look, um, that is a matter for the Upper House, and I will leave that to them, Lachlan, and, and see what they determine. Um, and I would, I would ask them to consider, consider the facts, but that's a matter for them. And as you know, the upper house is um, hostile is not a nice word to use, but it's often described as hostile. The government hasn't controlled the numbers in the upper house. Um, I'm also someone that's um, very direct with people in terms of uh, where the government stands on issues. And I appreciate as a leader, sometimes I've made decisions which some of the crossbench don't like, whether it's the shooters. I don't want 10 year olds to have guns, whether it's One Nation. I believe in tolerance and support our multicultural society.